All right, we're doing something a little different today. So I've actually, this is a challenge that I've recorded for in the past, but the video just kind of fell through. My, just, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do this video, so I figured I'll do it in playthrough format and then probably do a super cut at the end. But pretty much this is Spyro Year of the Dragon with no gems. So yeah, the challenge quite literally is exactly as I just explained it. Beat the game with your gem counter staying at zero the entire time. So the timer that I have beside me, it's really just a formality. Just make the make it look good. Kind of keep track of how long it takes me to do this whole thing. I won't be doing it in one sitting, that's for sure. But yeah, Let's see how she goes. And yeah, I'm doing this on emulator because you can probably imagine how much of a pain in the butt uh, this would be normally. Okay. And already I broke the rule. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So yeah, this is the premise of the challenge. Any of these, can't pick them up. So save state. Uh, it's at zero. Okay. And we're going. So pretty much what you want to do at the very start is ignore everything and go right into Sunny View. So you're the <laughs> All right, we're in Sunny Villa. I'm going to be safe staying quite often. Pretty much you want to leave all the enemies alone and then avoid the gems like they're mines. <laughs> and we run up to this guy. So believe it or not, having no health will make this so much easier. So for those who don't play Spyro, you can see the Dragonfly buddy that we have there that sparks. He doubles as our health. And also, he will grab gems that are lying around. So say, if I was this close, as you saw earlier, as I demonstrated in Sunrise Spring, if you're close, like right beside uh, a gem, Sparks will hone in and grab it so you don't need to walk all the way up to it. Now, since I'm at zero health, I don't have Sparks. It's not an issue, so we can go about normally without fear. So here's our first egg that we're gonna get. You're going to be seeing me safe stay a lot just in case we accidentally grab one. So next egg that we want to get is over here. Alright, cool. I'm just going to load the safe state because it'll be faster. You don't want to grab either of these. And boom. You get right up to this next egg, relatively easy. me go back up so we haven't unlocked Sheila yet and you can do this uh, how does this work again so this is something that you'll see speedrunners do in I think it's just 117% maybe also 149 egg but pretty much I don't remember exactly how it works, but the trigger to get into the Sheila section, I believe, 
these up here. So you can pretty much just skip. Oh, I just made a save state. Whoops, instead of speed run this. And there we go. Hey, Spyro. So, like I said, you can do it that way, or you can. Alas, I have a... You can also just wait until you've done Sheila's level. So these guys are interesting because they're actually pretty aggressive for being first level enemies. But yeah, as I just demonstrated, when you take out an enemy, uh, yeah, a gem will, they will always drop a gem. Now, for your, these guys it's not too bad because with Sheila you don't need to worry about it as much. I also believe, I'm gonna make the safe suit real quick. there's also a shortcut you can just take to Oh boy. Yeah, you can just get right over it that way. Avoid going through that tunnel. So there's only one egg in here and it's at the end of this tower. If we avoid the gems, we'll see that there's one right here, so we carefully jump over it. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, there's a gem right there. What? My and we get the egg, no problem. Now, if you pause the game, you can see we still have zero gems, so that's exactly what we want. And we can spawn out here, no problems. The gem is perfect far away. Talk to Zoe because we've got time for that. So, I'm now realizing maybe don't jump over the pit because I was dangerously close to getting that green gem. We're okay. But yeah, like even these guys, I should have safe stated. Hold up. Because I want to demonstrate something. So. One thing to note, uh, if you're playing a Sprout, if you charge into an enemy, he will automatically grab the gem. So, if you have to take out an enemy as Spyro, like this guy you don't have to, but just to demonstrate, always flame them. Thank you for rescuing. Say it. When playing a Spyro, if you charge into an enemy, the gem will automatically be picked up. If you were able to flame them, then it'll just drop by where they were standing, so... When you, so those are extra lives, but that would bring Sparks up to full health, which would kind of screw us. Hi, Spyro. So this is the skateboarding challenge. As you can see, there's a lot of gems lying around, but this shouldn't be too difficult. Just be careful, watch where you, watch where you land, watch where you're skating around to. Especially these like half pipes. So it's relatively easy. There's a lot of space to skate around where there isn't a ton of gems just lying around. So. Don't do that. Don't almost hit a basket. So yeah, even this ramp, you can just Right. 
So this is quite literally, it's the same thing, just you're under a time limit and you're not allowed to wipe out, which I technically already did in the last one, so I'll just fast forward through this. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I do. Wow. And that is every egg in Sunny Villa. So now that we don't have sparks, we can safely go and get this egg. I just passed by it earlier because it's surrounded by gems and it's just safer to go around. Like you could probably get it before losing sparks, but it's just an unnecessary risk, so. Okay, so one thing we gotta address, the main reason why you need gems normally in the game is because of this guy right here, money bags. Spyro! My my how Let's skip this first one. What's important is this. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. So as you saw there, 300 to free Sheila. So you might be thinking, if you don't know Spyro, oh, the challenge is over. Like, can't... Probably can't do anything about that, right? Well, you would be wrong. As I will demonstrate here, so we have Hunter do a challenge. You're supposed to just go over there, but I like to speed things up a bit. I don't think I've safe stated in a while, so I'll do that. Oh, I. So that's another egg in Sunrise Spring, and we need this power up. So normally, what this power-up is for, you fly up here, and you get this egg. And normally, that's the extent of it. You can go back, there's an extra life bottle right up there, as you can see. Uh, we're avoiding life bottles because we don't want sparks back. But you can do something that the developers did not intend for you to do. Now, there's... What we're trying to do here is get a glitch known as the Swim and Air glitch, which is pretty self-explanatory what it does. Uh, there's a faster way of doing it, but this is the easiest and the way that I know how to do the best. Um, so you want to fly over here and face back. And you fly down here and you fly towards the pond and boom. We are now swimming in the air. So you can pull back and as long as you don't hit the water surface again, like, as long as you don't touch it from the surface again, you'll keep it. So, now what we can do, um, as you can see, since Moneybag still has Sheila locked up, uh, her portal is not there. Like, it looks empty. But, what you can do, is you swim out of bounds and go underneath the level. Uh, and you can see right here what looks like the top of like a wooden frame. That is actually the portal to Sheila's level. What the developers did is once when a level is locked off, uh, if you don't like if you don't have access to it at the moment, whether whether you need to buy the character or you don't have enough eggs, like I'll just go show. As you can see over here, this won't be a problem like when we actually need to go into the level because we'll have enough eggs, but. Yeah, see it's blocked off. You can see it right there. So whenever a level is lock locked off, what the developers did is they just moved the level trigger underneath the stage where you're not supposed to get. But thanks to Swim and Air, we can get in no problem. We can get into Sheila's without paying money bags. So that is how we will get around uh, this challenge and not paying money bags for anything is that 
glitches are your best friend here. And Thanks again, Spire. You're able to access portals quite easily uh, with swim and air glitches, because every single one that's blocked off is just hidden under the stage somewhere. So we can do Sheila's relatively easy. There's same thing, like, uh, as before. Just when you kick an enemy, be careful, because they will drop a gem. Pretty much in order to make the goats keep going forward, you gotta take out the enemy. Okay. And yeah, I'm just being careful, because normally I would just keep charging forward when I take them out, but I don't want to pick up their gems, so I'm being awfully careful. And this third goat, you got to be careful, because that rock, you need to clear it in order to get the egg. But So this gem is here, but as you can see, you can talk to him, no problem. Uh, whenever you talk to an NPC and they're about to give you an egg, uh, Spyro or Sheila, or whoever you're playing as at the moment, they'll keep more distance in between you and the NPC, so the egg has room to spawn, so you're completely safe. Now this is the part where you're gonna want to be more careful, because the objective here is you need to stomp all of these mushroom huts to stop the enemies from spawning and then clear them. But you'll see why that's almost easier said than done in this challenge, because they spew gems when you destroy them, so it's really easy to accidentally pick one up. As I almost did there with that yellow. So we'll just go up here. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. So there's his annoying taunt now. Uh, but yeah, all the huts are gone, so all we need to do is take out the rest of the enemies, which is nice because these guys don't actually drop gems. Since they respawn infinitely, uh, the developers didn't give them a gem to drop, so you can just take them out easily. It's just be careful of grabbing one of the gems that the huts dropped. Thanks for the help, Sheila. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all three eggs. They check the pause menu, still zero gems, so we are set. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> money bags is still here. Sheila is gone. Um, but yeah, that's. It's Sheila's Alp all eggs, so we're doing great here. Next, we go into Cloud Spires. Now, this one is a bit interesting. So, as I said, I had done attempts of this before, and I was going to pretty much do the video format. If you watch NG+, big shout out to them, by the way. Great uh, challenge channel. I was going to do my video in the same format that they do, and I recorded it straight off my PS1, and the footage just didn't look very good. So... And just scripting videos and all that, it's not my strong suit. So anyways, this level, believe it or not, can be one of the most difficult. So you saw me create a safe state. I'll show you why. I'm just minding my own business. Oh, well, that's not why it's supposed to be difficult, but... Okay, so he has metal armor. It's actually not spawning. So... For some reason, I'm sure it'll probably happen, but there's a purple gem that'll just randomly spawn at times. Unless it did when I wasn't paying attention. No, it hasn't. I'm just trying to run around and see if I can get it happen. So, I guess I'll talk to you real quick. And what you want to do here is, I'll make the save state. Um, but I'll demonstrate something. So, if you go over here, this is the easier jump to make. Uh, there's a reason I don't do it this way though. So, I will be coming back here when I get the egg, but 
I just want to see if the gem will spawn. Gem's not spawning. Okay, so I guess it only spawns sometimes. Oh, you act so we're right at the end of the level straight away. The Rhinox. Yep, okay. So it is something to be aware of. I mean, I know when I was doing my speedrun yesterday, I noticed it uh, just randomly spawned and I got it. So just beware of that phantom gem, as I call it. Both eggs in this area. Okay, so now we just pre pretty much we're playing this level backwards. Also, another reason why you want to play this level backwards is because up here, as you can see, Money Bags is back. So he doesn't only spawn in the hub worlds. He spawns, he doesn't just spawn in the hub worlds, he spawns in levels trying to block your progress and you have to pay him. So that's our workaround in this level is you can just do the level backwards and you're good. So this one, this is an interesting egg. Pretty much, I think you need to be careful, if I recall correctly, about the angle that you take this guy out. So as you can see, that purple gem is scarily close to the egg. And Sparrow, whenever you get an egg, he'll move uh, to like a preset uh, spot on the ground. So yeah, that one's kind of horrifying. But you can get the egg. So next we go up here. Same thing, that egg is safe to get. And now we will go back uh, to that hub area, or that bonus area. And yeah, this is another simple egg to get. You just do the level normally and you're fine. Okay, before I leave, I want to, just in case, so I know it's it's not spawning on me for some reason, I guess it doesn't happen every time, but that purple gem sometimes will just randomly spawn on you, and say you avoid it at the beginning of the level where it usually spawns. Sometimes it'll spawn the second you pop out of the bonus area. I don't know why, it only happens sometimes, but pretty much you saw me save. The reason why I did that is, say, so you get the egg, then you save, then you leave and you get the gem. If you quit out without saving again, just reset your game and then load back into the level, uh, you will <clears throat> you'll have all five eggs, or oh, sorry, all six eggs 
and not get the gem. As long as you save before you get the gem and you don't save again after, uh, you're fine. But yeah, that was all the eggs in Cloud Spire, so we can leave and move on to the next one. Before going into the next level, I'm just going to get the two eggs that I haven't gotten yet in the Sunrise Spring. And yeah, this hub world really, uh, there's no issues here. Like, all these eggs are super easy to get, and they shouldn't give you any issues. I forgot to make a save state. Hold up. I need to do this properly because there's two eggs uh, that's once again blocked by money bags that you can get access to. It's a little more complicated if you're not into Year of the Dragon speed running. Uh, but I want to demonstrate that it is possible. It's just... <laughs> it's... It requires the boar proxy, which... Um, pretty much... Oh, I got it first try. I, not enough height, though. That's fine. This might take me a while, but I mean, I'm getting better at it than I used to be. Almost first try. Still not high enough. So you need a really high one and you'll see when I get it. There we go. So what you want to do is you can see where Money Bags is standing right there. There's a door blocking the way, but by getting a good boar proxy, you can clip into here without having to pay money bags. So we're in the thief subsection, or sub area, and yeah, it's fairly simple. Just chase them down. Don't hit any of the gems along the way. Same thing, just way faster. Don't hit any of the gems along the way. And you're golden. So yeah, this is what it's normally supposed to be like, and then you talk to Moneybags. Well, Spyro. You need 300 gems to open it, but you don't really need 300 gems to open it because... We do things a little differently around here. We're not giving money bags a penny. So you may be wondering why I'm climbing up here. Because the load zone to Sergeant Bird's area for whatever reason. Much like Sheila's in uh, Sunny Vila. You're able to just, yep, fly up and or you're able to jump on top of it and you're just it cuts right in. There's two eggs in here that we want, so 
I'm really bad at let's play style narration, I'm realizing. <laughs> so they keep kind of stuttering over what to say. But. We'll make it work. So yeah, it's also important to remember you're doing this on one hit. We've been doing this entire run on one hit, but uh, it's really easy to screw, screw up here. The birds, I don't think, actually do damage to you. They do, like, the animation for getting hurt will play, but I don't actually think they hurt you. So yeah, so I, I got stunned. Oh, crap. Did I save state at all? So I really can't remember if I save state before coming in. That's fine though. But we respawn where there's not, um, there's no gems around so we can just damage our way back to one hit. And now I'm going to save state. <laughs> So yeah, like it, it's really, it's not that big of an issue because again, they don't hurt hurt you, they just stun you for a second. So if you're close to the lava, then uh, yeah, you'll fall to the lava and that'll kill you. Or you can just do what I just did and fly straight into it. I <laughs> save stated right before those, we're fine. Is that the last one? Oh no, there's one down there. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't think I've been in every area. got both eggs in this area, we can leave now. Here, take. The egg for finishing the level, and again, pretty much what we're doing here is we're just playing the level backwards. You could probably take the shortcut, uh, Go back to the start of the level and that'll be fine too. I just think this is a little bit faster. Where did I was gonna say I made a save state, right? <laughs> I just gotta get the egg again. Yeah. I'm gonna do instead. Okay. I believe you're safe to just jump down. And, yeah, you won't get any any gems by. And oh, yep, that was all eggs. <laughs> So before I go to seashell, seashell Shore, yeah, I want to go to the Speedway real quick because it's important to note uh, how Speedways work in this game. So by default, each Speedway is going to have at least one egg that you're not going to be able to get, which is the time attack. So as you can see, time attack has like the objectives where it's like hit 10, I think it's 10 at least, of every object. But as you can see, you fly through and you get jumps. Like every single thing that you need to hit, it gives you gems. So it's just not doable. The only way to get the egg for time attack is by completing it. 
So there's no way to glitch the game, not that I know of at least, to glitch the game and get it without doing it. I doubt Whoa, there'll be a way, a but there is sheets. also a hunter challenge at every single level. Those are usually doable. Now I'm still gonna make a save state, so this challenge for Hunter is to take out all the flying saucers that are uh, around. Thankfully these guys don't give you gems. Um, but the, you'll see the sunflowers here, and I made a save state for a reason. From the time attack are still active, and I thought if you threw, flew into them... No, but if you, okay, if you shoot them, you'll break them and it'll still give you the money. It'll still give you the gem for the time attack challenge so when doing this make sure you don't shoot the dandelions so you gotta be careful with your trigger finger I can't hit this guy to save my life <laughs> Kind of careful. I'm trying to be safe state, just make my life easier. Alright, there's one more. There he is. I haven't hit anything yet. I don't know where this one is. It is okay, this guy you gotta be careful because he's flying right the other way. And there you go, you're able to get that egg, uh, relatively no problem. Just gotta be careful not to shoot the dandelions and you're, you're good. So the second challenge is the races. Each speedway has one and yeah, they, even the dandelions are despawned on this one. So you really have nothing to worry about. It's just do the race like normal, like you would in a casual playthrough and you're fine. Mm, yeah, no problem there either. So unfortunately that is the first level, and not the last, uh, where you do miss an egg. You're not going to be able to get <clears throat> every single egg in this playthrough. Um, it is just how it works, it's just how the challenge goes. But, we will get as many as possible here. Yay! So, this level, it's not too bad. There's going to be one spot in particular that is going to be somewhat difficult and it's going to be mandatory so we'll have to go over that one probably a couple times but that's what safe states are for Also, funny glitch kind of worth, worth showing off is even though, since we never paid money bags to free Sheila, uh, the signs still react <clears throat> as if she's still locked up, but the portal is still open, so. 
We can go in, no problem. Oh, hi, Spyro. So I'm making a save state here. This this egg is 100% possible, but it can be a bit of a pain. First of all, you need to do it without getting hit, but also the cannons will drop gems. However, I found out recently, like watching a speedrun, that you don't actually need to head bash the top of the cannons. Like just the tip of the cannon will actually do, so it makes it a lot easier to avoid gems. It's just avoiding the Rhinox now that you got to be careful of. That one was 100% on me. But yeah, we're, go we're gonna go the other way. Makes absolutely no difference. But it's pretty much, you probably shouldn't be... Oh, I have sparks now. What ha- Oh! Probably one of them hit... Hit this guy. Yeah, that must have happened. I was wondering, I was like, how am I getting gems here? That is why we're safe state. Because... Unexpected stuff is probably going to happen. And just before I get the egg, make sure I didn't accidentally pick one up. both eggs in this area, and we're clear. Mission failed. We'll go next time. Did I save state? Nope! <laughs> no gems. Okay. So, don't immediately charge left into those jars <laughs> and keep going. So, I'm just going to demonstrate now what I was talking about before difficult part that's mandatory so in order to finish this level you need to finish or that in order to finish this level you need to free that seal who's being held by the squid so yeah as we've established enemies drop gems so if you just charge it on normally I safe stated instead of loading it
Okay. So, as I was saying, in order to do this, so I demonstrated before, if you charge anyone, you'll get the gem. You gotta... Okay, that didn't work. But you gotta put yourself at a good distance so that pretty much once when Spar was exiting his charge, that's when he hits the squid. Because then you won't automatically pick up the gem. I think that almost would have worked. I just was in a bad spot. Oh! There we go. So it is possible, you just gotta be really careful. Safe state. <laughs> and we can go to the other two bonus areas. We had a drag. So thankfully, the objective here is to hit enemies, but they don't drop gems, so this egg is very much attainable. You can just do this as you would casually. And miss one as you do. I, I, I always say to myself, I either get this on my first try or my 100th. If I screw it up once, I tend to screw it up a dozen more times. <laughs> okay, maybe be a bit more careful than I was when you're coming up here to do this bonus area. So just watch out for these guys, and you gotta remember with this boss fight, you are one hit at the moment, so you gotta be careful with it. the first hit. Wow. Oh, I should have should have played the seal's uh overtly racist message. You got a lot of talent for someone so purple. Head on over to the balloon, everything's fine. But just to check our atlas, just to be safe. Zero gems all around, and unfortunately, or not really unfortunately, it's pretty nice. Only one level, and it's the speedway where we don't get every egg. So, yeah, we're sitting comfortably. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. When I heard the source. So yeah, with the bosses, um, they're they're you play them casually. Well, <laughs> casually, but on hard mode because you're on one hit. Buzz is not difficult. I'm just, I haven't played them the way I used to play them in a while, where you just charge away from them. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do the classic way instead of doing the speedrun tactic. We got a comfortably close there. And we are officially in midday gardens. I'm gonna pause the timer. And yeah, doing good so far. I'm gonna cut this episode off here. Uh, so yeah, pretty much my plan for this is have every hub world as its own episode. And then, like I said, at the end, I'll probably do a more edited down supercut. But these individual episodes, I want to just pretty much show the entire process of it. And yeah. But this is a fun challenge. Uh, it's In parts, it's easier than you would think it would be. Because, I mean, a lot of the length in Spyro games is just picking up the gems. Like, it, when going for completion is getting every single gem. If you know where every egg is, you can pretty much just run to it and hammer out a level pretty quick. So, But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.